Well, today I've tired of broken tail lights, so I'm going to try to put a new light on an old trailer or fix an old problem with a new light, a new light mount. This here was the old bracket that came out from the factory on this trailer, torch holes for mounting it. They've improved that now, but they're still mounting them down here and they're mounting them up here. They get broke. They even put them up here, they still get broke. But the biggest problem I got was they're in my way. I walk in here to do something and I walk into it with my knee machine. I just don't like the whole setup, so I cut it off. So what I did is I bought this from l l Industry. Heavy duty bracket. You can do multiple things with it. You can mount it here up high. You can mount it on this side. Do the same thing here, right there or there. The light's adjustable. For me, I'm going to turn it like this, mount it on the fender, and the light's adjustable, slotted holes. I'm going to mount it on here because it's plumb out of my way. It's, it's never. I'll hit the tire with something before I hit the light due to where I'm putting it at. So how do we do this? How do we get this on here with any accuracy? I took a tape measure. I measured the fender because I needed it to be a quarter of the way up on the fender. 25% up. How did I find that? Measure defender, got 48 inches. Divide that by four, gives me 12 inches. Well, I put this template down on that line, but my holes are a half inch down. So here's 12 inches, but I added a half inch. No matter what your fender is, whatever you come out to, add a half inch to it. So when you put that down to follow the line, your holes are actually back down that half inch exactly where it goes. That's why you see two lines I moved up. I had measured it wrong to begin with. The same template works on both sides. You see right here, it says place at beginning of fender well roll. That's right here. You see that roll right there where it rolls. You'll just have to eyeball it and get it best you can. If you're on the other side, it's right, but we're using the same template on both sides, so you just flip it upside down, and we'll stick it right there on the edge of that roll, and I follow that line with it so it comes out exactly right. There's sticky dots on the back of this. If those mess up, you can get uh, scotch tape and put on there the same thing. So I'm going to pull these off, throw them down. You want to clean the fender. This is a nasty old fender. I kind of knocked some dirt off of it. And you want this. You don't want this crooked like this or this. You want to get this right. So I'm putting it out, following the edge of that roll with that corner. And I am putting that on that line right there. That's the best I can do right there. I can step back, lean back a little bit. That really does look good. And here's the deal. If you get that a little bit off, these holes are a little over center, so you got a little adjustment. These holes here is a little bigger, so your light will have a little adjustment on it to get it where it ain't on here crooked. But try to get this straight. I made that line across there. I took a magic marker, made the line, I put that on there like that and drew that line. But that could be deceiving if your fender's bent or they had a different way of doing it. So you want to eyeball this, make sure that's as straight as you can get it with the trailer. You want to get back there and look at it. I did, that's where I like it. All right, you want to punch and you want a sharp punch. You want to get that, make sure that's sharp before you do it because that stuff's, that's pretty hard metal. When you go to do this, you don't want to be at an angle like this, 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 this. It'll ricochet and mess up your your uh, template. So you want a hammer and this punch. I'm going to put that in the center of that hole, and I'm going to make sure that punch is right where I want it to the best, uh, best of my ability. Hit it like that, and I'm going to do it again jumped off then but I still got a good hole on it. I'm gonna do the same thing here. It's important to get that right. Get it as close as you can. So now we got that. I have a quarter inch drill bit. And I'm gonna drill this hole. I'm gonna leave that template on there so I make sure I get in that hole. Go slow. All right, I'm in there. Now, I know I got that one started in the right spot, so what I'm going to do is you're going to clean that off. I'm again going to make sure I'm in this hole before that template gets tore off of there.
I'm going to go ahead and drill this one on through. You want to be careful when you get ready to go through, you don't want to hit your tire. Alright, that one's through. We can pull that template off now. Now, I got a quarter inch bolt and I got a flange nut. You want a flange nut of some sort so it will cut into that metal because that's serrated because that, that's your ground right there. You want that to dig in tight. You could use a nylock nut but it wouldn't cut into that metal and I want to make sure I got a good ground so so I'm going with this all right putting that through there and through the hole and by the way there's going to be little fuzz stuff on the back side of that that you may have to kind of knock out Back here is where you want to be careful with your fingers because that stuff's hanging down, that metal. Alright, that one's on. Now, you got a little slack there so you can get it lined up. Again, I'm going to get that started. Now then. Make sure I tilted it up a little bit. See how you got a little adjustment there in it. If that was to be a little crooked, I'm getting it straight straight there as I can. Now Even though I'm tightening this with this, when I get done, I'm going to twist it in there a little bit to make sure that cuts into that metal good for my ground. I said I was. I'm pretty stinking good. All right. Looks awesome. It's straight. And like I said, I got room for the light to twist on there too. And right here is the light. Actually, that one's a, for the other side, but I can kind of show you what it's going to look like here. It goes in. We'll adjust it to height. I want to get it up to where it's not above the rail. And then I'll get it straight like that and get it situated. But this is the one that goes on the other side. So anyway, there we go.